all right like we discussed in the uh, previous uh, video so we will fix the gap you know in our implementation so uh, in our previous implementation where uh, we were you know we were using a prompt template to uh, auto generate or to you know to update the case summary isn't it yeah so this is what we did so if i go to this uh, if i go to this particular case right and if i want to generate the case summary correct using uh, taking help from ai i just click on this particular icon and then i hit this icon again so you will just see the ai you know uh, trying to collate all the information from the case and then gives me a nice summary i can just use it yeah and then i can just click on save to keep the summary correct so anytime i can come and then you know check on the summary but the problem with this implementation is or the gap in the implementation is what if the customer feedback change or the case feedback changes right what if there are any additional details added to the case i wanted to you know uh, i wanted the summary to be to be updated again with the uh, latest with the latest changes okay so that's the gap we have now so how do they automatically you know update this particular field okay because the problem is the this the the data for this particular field is generated by prompt template isn't it okay somehow i need to find a way to use this prompt template or trigger this prompt template automatically isn't it so that i can get this i can get this you know um, i can get this summary you know updated again yeah in the field okay so there are there are there are multiple ways to do it okay one is i can use flow or i can use uh, apex as well i can use apex triggers and then i can uh, i can uh, you know uh, uh, trigger this particular prompt template okay i'll go with uh, i'll go with low, no code you know approach okay so we will be using uh, flow to invoke the prompt template yeah so of course this is a use case that we are trying to you know solve so the case summary field should be updated whenever any details of the record you know modified yeah so we will learn how to use flow again and most importantly how to call the prompt template from the flow that's the second thing we will learn read the response and then update back in the back in the record field okay yeah so let's quickly do that let's go back to the org okay so uh, there is a, there is already a flow that I just you know started off with. This is a record triggered flow, as you can just see. I want this record triggered flow, okay, to uh, to trigger whenever a record is you know uh, created or updated, okay, yeah. Uh, and then I can uh, you know uh, uh, I don't want to set any conditions, entry conditions, because whatever whatever data that changes in the you know in the in the case record right i want the summary to get updated yeah so what i'll do is as a next step yeah i wanted to i wanted to you know use action yeah and uh, if i click on action it will just mean all the actions right yeah so the one that i'm looking for is under or i can just search for you know i can just search for uh, uh, the uh, prompt template directly in the in the search option okay you can just see this right there are 22 items under prompt template and one in the you know one in the prompt builder correct so if i just hit this prompt template it will just show me all the prompt templates uh, you know prompt templates created so far okay the one we are currently using to summarize the case record right it's the case summary yeah this is the custom you know prompt template we created right so if you look for that case summary right inside the prompt template action you will find it right here that's it okay that's how simple it is for you to you know to invoke a prompt template that's all it is yeah so i'll just say invoke case summary prompt yeah that's it okay and uh, yeah so what i would like to do is right when the prompt is invoked you know what is the input for the prompt of course the input for the prompt is the actual case record right yeah so that's what i'm going to you know uh, refer this right here so if you just click here yeah and you will find the triggering record right in this case the case record so just hit this case that's all it is okay yeah dollar record yeah that's it so i'm just going to feed the case to the prompt so that it can just extract all the information from the case and then all the record information from the case and then you know it can give me the response which i will just assign it to a variable okay yeah so i'm going to create a new resource and i'll just say this is going to be a variable of type v underscore let's say prompt 
response yeah so holds response from the prompt okay yeah let's say the case summary response from the prompt yeah so this is going to be a text a string basically correct yeah that's it you are done okay so now the output of output of this prompt which go, goes into this prompt response the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to use update record no option okay and i'm going to use update record so i'm going to just say you know update case summary okay that's it and i'll just say specify i'll just use the the same case that is triggered that has that has triggered the flow yeah and i'm just going to search for case summary field and i'll just simply use the value from the variable that's it v underscore prompt response that's it yeah let's click on save and let's give a name so record triggered flow update case summary okay so I'll just in the description I'll just say invokes yeah invokes prompt template and uh, updates case summary field that's it let's click on save and then quickly activate of course I'm not uh, you know introducing fall path and uh, other you know best practices I'm not doing it just I just wanted to convey how easy it is for you to you know to start using uh, or invoking prompt templates from the flow okay so have any logic built in the flow and then you can just start using you know uh, prompt templates as one of the actions okay and then further proceed okay now let's test this so i'll go back to the case i'll first refresh this page okay so that it will pick up the new changes we made in the org okay all right i'm just going to you know add case feedback yeah so um an email has been sent to the product team inquiring the support for mobile device we'll see a response in couple of hours so basically this is i know a feedback uh, or, or, or a note basically i can also put it in the in the case command i can also do that yeah the case command i can also do it or i can just you know put it in the feedback for now yeah so when i click on it on say click save right what happens is a record triggered flow gets executed and that will invoke this flow right invoke this prompt template and then you know uh, updates this case I mean, let's let's quickly see that yeah let's wait for this to complete perfect now you can just see this right yeah the case has been updated correct yeah and uh, you know uh, it will so it has all the information you know or basically it just extracts extracts the information from the case and then updated the case summary back again correct yeah so this is how or i think now the implementation is you know implementation or the gap in our implementation has been fixed correct so now whether when a new case is created or existing case is updated or whether user manually clicks on this particular uh, edit icon and then updates the updates you know the the data whatever the scenario is the prompt you know gets invoked and it will update the case summary with all the latest changes or by keeping all the latest changes intact yeah so that's the requirement we had and now we just resolved it i hope it was helpful i can able to you know do the same for another you know another uh, use case right where uh, we had uh, we were generating the case intelligence based on based on you know the list of uh, all the you know all the related cases right we will do that in a separate video yeah but now we we did understand you know the concept uh, how we can able to you know use flow and a prompt template combination and then able to you know enhance this uh, a functionality yeah so i hope this was helpful Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.